Hey guys, my name is Robert Lante. I'm the founder of The Vocalist Studio. I'm a voice coach in Seattle, Washington. I'm helping singers all over the world learn how to sing through our training program, our book, our course, and all that jazz. But I wanted to make this really cool video. I'm gonna do a little box opening thing for you. Um, recently, I have uh, just gone out to YouTube and popped open um, some classic video performances from um, Tom Jones. <laughs> okay, if you don't know who Tom Jones was, he's a, he's a famous singer from the 70s, and go check it out. Um, I think you'll agree, it's really super cool. It's like, it's like classic cool, you know, uh, uh, kind of like Elvis Presley kind of cool, sort of like uh, Frank Sinatra cool. Tom Jones, um, not only super duper cool, but listen to him sing, great singer. Um, and anyways, I just thought it was sort of fun watching these old classic videos, and I, and I noticed that he's got this microphone. So Tom Jones has this sort of, I, like, I call it the Tom Jones microphone, <laughs> and it's, it's actually, um, what is it? It's actually a, uh, a Sennheiser MD211, Sennheiser German microphone, MD211. I do research. So I noticed he had this really super cool, swanky microphone, and I went out, I'm gonna Google Tom Jones microphone. <laughs> what kind of microphone is Tom Jones using? That's really cool. And I discovered it's the Sennheiser MD211. So then I went out to uh, uh, eBay and some different services. Okay, um, where do I get the Sennheiser MD211? Because I'm a mic collector. I collect classic vintage microphones, okay? And I thought, hey man, no vintage microphone collection is complete without the Tom Jones MD211. <laughs> All right, so I go out there and I'm like MD211, and like it's really like a lot of people, it's big demand, okay? Because it's they don't make these things anymore, and it's a it's like a 40 year old microphone. All right, so to find a really clean MD211 Tom Jones mic is sort of hard to do. Long story short, I found one. I'm like, oh my god, no, 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 my eyes, my eyes, the price, the price was just like, no, no. And it's just like really super expensive. So I really fussed with this purchase decision. I was like, god dang, I really don't need a Tom Jones MD211 microphone, but it sure is cool. So. I just, I was, I remember I was literally in Poland. I was in Poznan, Poland uh, on a business trip and I thought, okay, uh, boom, bought it, bought it. So, we have the Tom Jones MD211 Sennheiser microphone, the classic one right here. And I'm gonna open up for the first time for you guys. You ready for this? Here we go. Comes with bubble wrap. Opening this up, okay, here's the Tom Jones <laughs> microphone, the MD211. Now first thing you gotta notice is, look at this old box, it's like the original box, right? Like that is old school, this is a, like a 40, 45 year old microphone inside this thing. Okay. Right. Now I know this is all sort of geeky, but those of you that like microphones, you're gonna dig this. All right. The Tom Jones MD211 Sennheiser. Let's look inside. It's not unusual to be in love, but all right. Comes in this really lovely little case. Okay, a little protective case. That's you don't get that these days on a microphone, on a little case. And the plug-in, the cable for these old mics is not the regular XLR that, that we're used to these days. So you have to, whenever you buy an old, some of these older vintage mics, you have to get a specially made aftermarket cable that converts the old four pin protocol system to the new common three pin XLR system that we're familiar with these days. So you gotta get the mic or otherwise it won't work. Or the cable that is. Let's look inside. Ooh, there it is. 
I give to thee the classic Tom Jones Sennheiser 211, completely untouched. This mic's been in that case for about 40 years. Nobody's ever used it that I can see. I mean, okay, maybe somebody used it, but this thing is almost entirely untouched. Look at that guy. And I know what you're thinking. What's here? All right. I agree. I have not heard it before. This is the first time I'm trying this thing. So we'll put the old school cable in here. Okay. Threads in. Boom. Which converts to the new XLR protocol. I put this on my wireless transmitter. Turn this guy on. Boom. So we're now transmitting wirelessly. We got the Tom Jones, the classy swanky Tom Jones mic. All right, here we go. Turn the PA system on. And give it some volume. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, 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 God, you know what? It actually just sounds great. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really boomy. Um, hey, hey, oh, 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 whoa, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, whoa. Now, I've bought vintage mics before. Um, I have got, I don't know, about 10 really, really old 30, 40 year old mics. Um, I've got completely honest with you guys. I can understand why Tom Jones was using this microphone. This is, this sounds great. This sounds, to be honest with you, it's like as good as any brand new modern microphone that you would buy. You wouldn't, most people would never hear the difference between something new these days versus this. Now, a newer, more modern mic, I think it might be a little bit boomier. Hey, oh, whoa, yeah, oh, might be a little bit boomier. Um, so this is sort of on the, on the, on the, on the, on, on the bright side a little bit. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with that, it's fine, it just makes it a little different. And you gotta be careful with the You can hear your plosives popping into this microphone where a modern microphone might have sort of a you know, bigger sort of uh, um, a cage over the top of it to prevent the plosives from popping into the diaphragm. Very common thing, right? And even back then when they made these old microphones, you, would, you could get a microphone with a nice pop filter on it as well. I think the point with the MD211 is style. That's one reason why Tom Jones used it. It's why I wanted to have one. Because it's just, I mean, look at this thing. It's just like swanky. I mean, it's, I mean, if you can't, if you can't get a date with the Tom Jones MD, MD211, then there's no hope for you. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, it sounds really great. It really sounds great. And I'm happy with the investment. I'm glad I did this. It's, it's more than just a cool classic mic that's sort of um, I iconic uh, to the early 70s, but it does sound really fantastic. I could actually go out and perform with this and be perfectly fine with it, and it just looks great. Look at that thing. It's slick, right, and really thin and light. I mean, you, it's hard to find a mic like this, right? Anyways, this is the Tom Jones MD211. And no, I'm not going to sing a Tom Jones song right now, but um, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Um, and I'm really super happy with this thing. Hey, if you're looking for a really super cool, vintage, legendary, iconic microphone, something old that looks really swanky and cool, consider the Sennheiser MD211.